Hey Lufkin, it is Wednesday, December 6th. In weather today, we're looking at sunny with a high near 63 degrees, northeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight should be partly cloudy with a low around 40 degrees, east wind around 5 miles an hour becoming south after midnight. On to today's events, we've got of course ice skating in the pines still going on now through January 1st. Ice skating in the pines I'm just gonna read it. Kick off the holiday season with a touch of magic at the Pitzer Garrison Civic Center. The convention center will be transformed into a winter wonderland complete with sparkling ice skating rink. Lace up your skates and glide under the twinkling lights, creating cherished memories with family and friends. Sounds fun to me. Um, Light Up Lufkin is going on right now. Well, it's not going on right now. Sign Up is going on right now. So if you wanna be part of the Light Up Lufkin driving car parade, where you get to go look at all the houses. If you want your house on that parade, sign up. Lufkinparks.com. Presence for Primaries is also taking signups right now. You can sponsor a student for Christmas. Find out more at Lufkinparks.com. All right, other events. We've got the Angelina College Visual Arts Student Exhibition still going on right now. Students enrolled in Leanne Alexander's basic drawing, design, and painting courses will display their semester of accomplishments in art media spanning from charcoal to pa oil painting. It's free. 8 to 5 a.m. is their hours for the gallery, so you can go do that. Santa Mail, still going on at First Franklin Financial. First Franklin, that's a alliteration there. Uh, you can bring your little ones by to write a letter to Santa and see the excitement on their faces as they receive a reply back in the mail. So that could be fun. A little magic of Christmas there. Festival of Trees going on at the Museum of East Texas. Every year during the holidays, the Museum of East Texas transforms into a brightly colored forest lined with rows of trees covered in festive holiday decorations. The community comes together to put on the Festival of Trees as each tree decorated and displayed is sponsored by a business, family, group of friends, or individual. Bring the whole family and wander through the festival. It opened on November 20th and it's going through January 5th, it's open seven days a week, they say. Are they open Monday? I don't know. Check out the museum's website to find out more on that. All right. Huh. I don't know what this is. 5.30 tonight, an organ for St. Cyprian's. Uh, St. Cyprian Episcopal School and Ellen Temple producer invite all to the premiere of this 30-minute film. Oh, okay. An organ for St. Cyprian. Cyprian's. So that's at the Pines Theater tonight, 5.30. All right. Also, there is a music mingle hosted by the Lufkin Limners. The Limners' very first music mingle was held at the Rusty Axe Brewing Company restaurant in downtown Lufkin on September 6th this year. Much to the delight of everyone who showed up, we had a great turnout. We packed the house with musicians and music lovers from all over East Texas and had a blast jamming out, singing and playing along, or simply dancing and enjoying the music together. All levels of talent and experience were present to play, forming an organic orchestra of different instrument styles and voices that filled the restaurant and spilled over into First Street for passersby to enjoy. We are so looking forward to this next one and hope to see you jamming with us on today. 7 p.m. A little further afield, out of town, uh, you can get live music with the Irwin family. Uh, the Irwins started singing as soon as they were each able to talk, appearing over 270 dates a year with their mother and father, who have been in full-time evangelism for 45 years. They have been traveling full-time their entire lives, singing in concerts, revivals, conferences all across the country. Three of the four siblings, Keith, Cody, and Chris, performed as a trio until 2013, when the group announced that their little sister, Katie, that's a lot of K names, that's okay, my family has a lot of J names. Rock on, guys. Uh, Katie would be joining the group full-time to sing on the stage, making them a mixed group. Anyway, that's going to be in Broadus at Trinity Baptist Church tonight at 7 p.m. if you're into that sort of thing. So that is it for our events. You can find more events at any of the calendar pages like cityoflufkin.com or lufkintexas.org, that's the chamber, or the uh, lufkindailynews.com. Um, I think that's their website. The website for Lufkin Daily News. And you can find more calendar stuff there than you will ever want. We got lots going on in Lufkin. All right, going on to today in history. On this date, in the year 1921, the Irish Free State was established. The British government and Irish leaders, Arthur Griffith, Michael Collins, and others, 
signed the Anglo-Irish Treaty establishing the Irish Free State as an independent member of the British Commonwealth on this day in 1921. You can find out more history and information like that at Britannica.com. Again, I'm doing this show on my own. Nobody's sponsoring this. I'm just finding this information. It's out publicly available. You can go look it up yourselves. Thank you for watching.